Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, U.S. Daily Celebrity News. Celebrating the soaps. Com Celebrity News. Maisie Williams reveals she was initiated into a child cult by her father. During a recent conversation with Stephen Bartlett, host of Diaries of a CEO podcast, Maisie Williams opened up about her relationship with her father. And judging by everything Maisie said, her dad was an abusive father who doesn't care about his children. For the sake of her older sister's mental health, Maisie didn't go into full details of everything that happened in her life while growing up because it didn't happen to just her. Her elder siblings weren't excluded from the abuse either. I don't really want to go into it too much because it affects my siblings and my whole family. At a very young age, as young as four months, Maisie's mom left her father, and according to Maisie all her life, she has always found it difficult to sleep at night. Living with her, dad was and has always been a traumatic experience for her. Ever since I can remember, I've really struggled sleeping. And I think a lot of the traumatic things that were happening, I didn't realize that they were wrong. Maisie said that at the time everything was happening, she didn't understand that what she was going through with her siblings was very wrong. Maisie also said that she has always seen kids her age being happy and wondered whether they don't understand what is fear, pain, or dread. She always dreamed and hoped for her freedom from the pain she was in. And with her growth came different other terrible experiences which made her think that there's probably no escaping the pain for her. There's never an end destination for that freedom. And it comes from within. When are you going to let yourself be free from the pain? The Game of Thrones actress said that people who see her never asked her the right questions. They do ask her questions, but never the right ones. Help finally came for her when she turned eight years. Her class teacher finally asked her the right question, which was if she had eaten. When she replied in the negative, the teacher offered her food to eat. That was after asking if she has had breakfast. And she replied that they don't eat breakfasts in their family. I had so many people who loved and cared about me so much, but I had never been asked the right questions where I could really say what was wrong. According to Maisie, the first time her mom came to pick her and her siblings from school, she hadn't fully understood that what her dad was doing was very wrong. All she could think of at that time was that her mom wanted to take her away from her dad, and she didn't want that. Maisie said that as bad as things were for her, she didn't want to leave her father. She wanted to fight her way into staying back by trying to convince her mom that things aren't all that bad, but she couldn't add from her dad. But as she grew, she decided to never take anything personally again, whether it be that she had a bad hair day or anything, because she has come to the realization that all that happened wasn't because of her. It could happen to anybody. Be sure to catch up on everything happening with Maisie Williams right now. Come back here often for all the Maisie Williams spoilers, news, and updates. Chichiob Chikwemeka is a creative content writer who writes about entertainment news articles, fashion, pro wrestlings like the WWE and AEI. She's also a blogger, a book reviewer, and a soon-to-be editor. She loves to travel and meet new people, loves to watch cartoons and wrestling, and wishes more than anything in the world to become a WWE superstar someday. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe now. Yuza. Some point she finally realized that she must have been initiated into a child cult against her mother. I was indoctrinated in a way. I think that's why I'm obsessed with cults. I get it. I get it. I was in a child cult against my mother, so I really was fighting it in the beginning. My whole world flipped on its head. Even though all these things that I'd was feeling, I thought, oh my God, I'm so glad I don't have to see my dad anymore. It still was like against everything that I had ever known to be true. When asked how she feels about her dad now, the actress acknowledged to being happy she was finally free.